So see, I'm sitting on the steps of the Mid Manhattan Branch Library, naked, with this blanket wrapped around me. Shannon stood two steps down, she did. Hmm. We're outside because, well, we felt that the uh, reception was better enjoyed from the outside. We smoked and, and, and drank. <laughs> we just sat there, you know, laughing and, and bitching about the people on the inside. Then Kerouac comes up, you know, with, with this glass of wine and this cigarette. You know? Those people in there, they just don't understand you. They hear you screaming and clawing and teeming, and all they want to see is how unusual you are, you see. I know, Jack. That's why I'm out here with this joint, you know? So I says to him, do you sometimes feel like uh, uh, everything you do is just for yourself? Like it can't possibly be for or about anybody else? He says, Listen up, man. I don't even know where I'm at or what I'm about, so my art can't possibly be for anybody. I just do it. Shannon smiles and says, Mr. Carroll, you want to meet Mr. Giggles? Jack smiles and he says, Mr. Giggles wouldn't want to meet a man like me, stinking a Merlot. As he gives up his smile. He says, I can't even go barefoot. Without inner peace and, and harmony, there's no use trying. So I says, it's a dream, Jack. It's a, it's a dream. It's a, a South American ranch. Mountains on one horizon, nothing but tan and green on the other. And it, it's, it's like there's ten of us. It's me and Celine and Lorca and, and about seven other revolutionary sots. And, and man, we're just drinking and cursing the dust and the, the snow and our age. Just just cursing, you know? We thought of you, Jack. We thought of you and and and, and then those horses with their muscles and, and peace and and, and, and and long, full cocks. And then out of nowhere there was this, this dust storm appeared, and then out of the storm come bullets and fire and screams and and then there's just these black and gray stallions, and of course they're carrying men, but we can't see them. We don't know for sure, Jack. All we're seeing is bullets and, 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 and screams and dust. And our red stained pintos are howling, they're screaming, they're running towards the horizon. And we think, maybe we can jump on these pintos, maybe we can go. But we didn't, Jack. We decided to sing. We decided to sing for you, Jack. Sing for the revolution! Ah, sing until we had no breath left. You know what I'm saying? And that dust storm just kept coming, Jack. It just kept coming. And we kept singing. And it rolled right through us, it did. We, we, we rolled right through us, but we kept singing. And we kept singing from that cloud looking down on that ranch and all that dust storm heading towards the horizon. And we laughed. And we drank for the revolution. Somehow we knew it hadn't ended. So he says, naked, naked, that's what they're seeing in you. I, I think they don't understand your need for nudity. When a man exposes himself, the tendency is to look away, to miss what's being said. But, but what if that nudity is not physical, Jack? He says, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, jeez, listen. Shannon smiled. We both liked it when Shannon smiled. Hey, Jack, you want to meet Mr. Giggles? I said, meet Mr. Giggles, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I need Mr. Giggles. Maybe Mr. Giggles needs me.